Greet you all in the highly exalted, wonderful, precious name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Welcome to the book of Romans. Turning our Bibles to Romans chapter 9 and verse 5. Theirs are the packages, and from them he is traced the human ancestry of Christ, who is God over all, forever praised. Amen. Apostle Paul here is justifying how the Jews or the Israelites are superior in their earthly qualifications. He doesn't mean that you can qualify yourself or the Jews qualify themselves for salvation because he's not talking about uh, qualifying for salvation because no one can ever. It is just a gift of grace. But here he's talking about their physical ancestry that qualified, qualifies them above the others or gives them a superior position above the others. And uh, uh, previously in the fourth verse, he talks about uh, the covenants, the receiving of the law, the promises, and the temple worship and all of them. But now he's talking about people. And then yeah, in, in the fifth verse, he says, uh, the patriarchs come from uh, the uh, Israelites or uh, the Jews. In other words, uh, uh, throughout the world, wherever the faith has uh, um, a spread and wherever the gospel has reached, it is tracing the human history of Jesus from the nation of Israel. What a great, beautiful endowment that the Lord has given to this country. But is it because this country had some good things in it? No, not at all. No, not at all. The selection of uh, Every sinner, when the Holy Spirit God turns his hearts and convicts him with his sin and draws him to the cross, is the same divine sovereign choice that God with all liberty had made towards Abraham. Abraham was not worthy. Abraham did not do anything in order that the call of God could be credited to him. The Bible says Abraham believed and it was credited to him as righteousness. But we have to read it in balance that says faith is a gift of God. The fruit of the Spirit is faith. He gives it to us. And in order to generate this faith, the loving, living, gracious, heavenly Father without Abraham asking him, because Abraham did not know him, he was an idol worshipper. God in his sovereign will chose Abraham and revealed himself to Abraham as the God of glory. This revelation that the Father gave, this faith that the Spirit brought, up, brought, uh, brought out through him or wrought out through him, and uh, these fused together and because of the future work of the Holy Spirit, uh, of the uh, uh, Lord Jesus Christ on the cross, the credited righteousness, the triune God moved Abraham. It was not because of Abraham, but it was because God chose Abraham. And uh, he chose Abraham because of his sovereign will. It was not because of something that Abraham had within himself because if Abraham had something within himself that as you read this chapter you see that the that the election does not stand and where election does not stand the only other case out there is selection and when selection comes in immediately some merit of yours comes in and when some merit of yours comes in God's grace falls and when his grace falls, he doesn't get the glory. We are ever indebted to Israelites because God chose them out of his grace. And through them, the Lord came in flesh to save us. And Paul says, they are superior. We all have to agree, they are superior. Not because of who they are, but because of God's choice, God's grace, and God's plan. A loving, living, gracious Heavenly Father, 
Praise and thank you for your plan, your choice, and for your grace. Because of this, O oh Lord, you chose the patriches and through them came into this world to save us so we worship you. O oh Lord, help us to always remember that even in our case, it is your love, your grace, your mercy and your plan, nothing of us. Help us to be humbled by this thought. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.